Hi, Leo. This is going to be a reading for the 1st of August through to the 7th of August, 2022. Now, your overall energy for, for the whole month of August is talking about basically about an inheritance, talking about something coming to you from other people that's going to benefit you in some way. And usually they talk about an inheritance or a gift of money. OK, now it does talk about you being so focused on your money at this point in time, okay? That that maybe you're ignoring something that's taking place in your life. And it very well might be health, health issues. So indeed, start looking at your health and start taking care of yourself, especially if it's your diet. Now, it does talk about uh, your home, your harmony in your home. Now, the value that you place on, on living in harmony in the place that you live or living uh, in harmony with the earth. So there's something that you're doing that is not bringing you um, that grounding in your life, okay? And this could even have to do with addictions. This could have to do with the fact that maybe you're trying really hard to pull away from an addiction of sorts. And that could be gambling, that could be food, that could be drugs and alcohol, whatever it may be, okay? You're the only one that knows. But there's something in your life that you need to pull away from in order to bring that balance into your life. Now, it does talk about a good job and good benefits coming in. There's security and a chance for promotion, perhaps in a large corporation that's being offered to you. So possibly a promotion with new responsibilities. It could have to do with some type of family business that's taking place. You're getting involved in perhaps a family business. Maybe there is a family business that is being handed down to you, okay? This could be property. It could be property. It could be land. Um, it could be becoming a landlord. It could be a, a farmer, becoming a farmer, okay? Now, it does talk about a need to take on more responsibility in a family. And it does talk about a parent who is basically thinking about your future and working towards you finding that balance in your life. They're putting something in place for you. This could be an inheritance from a family member. This could be a father, a mother, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, okay? It could also talk about possibly a parent or a grandparent coming to live with you to provide you with some sort of stability. Now, also, it talks about indecision. There's resistance to this change, okay? It's almost like you're being offered this, but you're resistant to it because there's a denial taking place inside you that change has actually occurred. You're not seeing that change has occurred. You're not seeing the difference in your life that needs to be adapted, okay? It does talk about you uh, looking for solutions to dilemmas in your life, but you're having a hard time to find those solutions. And sometimes, you know, when, when we have bad luck or we fall on bad luck financially, whatever it may be, okay, sometimes we act badly. Maybe we hang out with people who have um, a bad character, okay? But it does talk about someone in your life who is not focused on their life, and that may be pulling you down in some way. And it does talk about others that are possibly not ethical or consistent. It does talk about you wanting to look, especially in that first week, looking for more peaceful surroundings surroundings. Perhaps there has been a lot of conflict and aggression in your circle of energy or in your family environment, in your home environment, okay? Now, it does talk about one person seemingly having more control in a relationship. Sorry, I hear, I think we're getting a storm coming soon. Um, it does talk about friction. When one person seems to have all the power in a relationship, whether it be a cohort, whether it be a, a an energy that's a love partner. It could be a friendship. It could be at work. It could be in whatever circumstance. It could even be in family where one person seems to be holding all the chains or all the ties or, you know, all the, uh, the way forward that you have to basically ask permission in order to move forward in something, perhaps in a family business or in something that you want to achieve and someone else is holding uh, the reins. Now, so it does talk about that indecision, okay? But it also talks about you looking to the future. It does talk about a business interaction or a shopping trip, perhaps with friends or family members, something that is going to bring you that cohesiveness, okay? But it does talk about there being some shaky ground there where you're not really sure if you want to do this or you're not really sure how to do this. It does talk about... Um, communications related jobs. So getting involved in something where your self-expression, perhaps work on the internet, writing or teaching, public speaking, be, belonging to a committee, getting involved in uh, a social activity of sorts, okay? 
but it does talk about possibly you having uh, maybe applied for a job in one of those situations and a communication is coming back to you, perhaps offering you an opportunity, but you're shaky on taking it. So you applied for something, but now you're not really sure if you want it. So think hard on this. It does talk about you receiving recognition for your talents and that's gonna bring about new perspectives in your life and a widening of your interest. It does encourage you to think about your future career at this point in time in this first week. Now it does talk about three friends, perhaps you and two friends, maybe you and two family members are going to get involved in a project that is going to be fruitful, okay? It talks about good job connections, exciting job opportunities, increased um, activity in work. You're going to meet interesting people. You're going to move forward in a very, very positive way. Now, it, it does seem like it has something to do with some type of renovations or building or a project that you are going to be uh, rebuilding or renovating um, a house or a business, okay? But it's a physical attribute, the physical aspect of building something with your hands. And this stands for um, artists or carpenters, people who work with their hands, writers, seamstress. Uh, it does talk about a new job, good money coming in, and you're going to get that inner glow or that inner satisfaction. Your work is becoming meaningful for you, okay? And this is all taking place in that first week of August 2022 as you're moving further into the month of August. So don't be shaking your head at all those opportunities. Research them. Research the hell out of them and check to see if this is the way that you want your life to go or if this is the direction that you want your life to go. But know that there are some positive things coming in with these opportunities. So don't be shaking your head until you check it in. So I shall see you in that second week. Namaste. Bye.